Hi, I'm Matthew Jenkinson and in this video I would like to introduce you to the balance sheet screen. Um, whatever we look at in this will also apply to income statements. It's really just an introduction to how you can change the layout of items that appear on your balance sheet. So to start, we'll start up Ledger and we'll go to the balance sheet screen. Now on this screen you'll see a list of various items. Each of these items represents a line on the balance sheet and you'll notice next to the item some of them have got an, a little icon. So this icon indicates what type of item this is. So this first one, which says assets, is actually a heading. Underneath that we have the names of the various asset accounts and at the bottom we have a subtotal, that's the icon with the little squiggly lines. And then we have a total and then we have another heading, which is the liabilities section. We have the liabilities accounts, then we have a total, then we have another heading for equity and the equity accounts and then a total, uh, at least a subtotal and then finally a total. We can change the order that things appear on the balance sheet by simply dragging and dropping the headings on this screen. So we'll move cash up and we'll put bank up there under cash and we'll move land up there just below equipment. And then when we go to print the balance sheet will notice that this new ordering is reflected on the balance sheet. Now, supposing we want to create our own subheadings, so we click on the heading button, and this will create a new heading. We're going to call this current assets. And we'll create another heading, we'll call this one Fixed Assets. And we'll drag that one down so that it's just above buildings. And we'll create subtotals for these sections. So we'll click on Subtotal, we'll call that Current Assets. And we'll create another subtotal for the fixed assets section. Now when we go to print the balance sheet, we can see there we've got a subheading and a subtotal and another subheading and another subtotal. And that last subtotal, we don't need that anymore, so we just remove that. Now let's create a new account. We'll go to the account screen, maintain accounts, and we'll create a new asset account. We're going to call it, we'll just make it FUR for sure for the abbreviation, we'll call it Furniture. Now when we go back to the balance sheet screen, we'll notice that the new account we've created has appeared, because it's an asset account, it's appeared right at the bottom. And that's not where we want it, so we'll drag that up to our Fixed Assets section.
Now, whenever we create new accounts, if they're asset, liability, or equity accounts, they will always appear initially at the bottom of this balance sheet screen, and it's up to us to drag them into the appropriate place where we want them to appear on the balance sheet. And the same thing will apply with the income statement screen. If we create new accounts that are income or expense accounts, they will also appear at the bottom of the list and we can then move them to the position where we want them to appear on the income statement. Now the last thing I want to show you about this balance sheet screen is a little trick that you can use to hide accounts that you don't want to appear. You could delete the accounts, but often an account may have some entries in it that are historical, and it's an account that you're no longer using, but you just want to hide it on the balance sheet. Now, the way that uh, you can do this is by creating a group. A group is a way of making more than one account appear as if it's a single account on the balance sheet. So for our example here, we're going to say we, we want to hide the inventory and vehicles accounts because we don't use them. So we'll create a group and we'll give it the name of one of the other accounts. In this case, we'll just call it land. And then we can drag those unused accounts into that group land and inventory. And we also drag the account of the same name into that group and it will then appear, all those three accounts, land, inventory and vehicles, will appear as land on the balance sheet. If we print the balance sheet, you can see there that there's no items on the balance sheet for inventory or vehicles because they've been hidden by including them in a group with the land account.